are. What we're doing today is mixing Andy's record. Okay. Most of most, but not all of which was recorded here. They basically just blazed through a bunch of songs, and we mic'd up the drums. And each element of the drum kit's on a separate track. Right? So, so. Alright, so we got the kick drum. Had a couple mics on it that went down to one track. The snare drum, whatever it is. Right. The toms are in there, they got their own tracks. Mics over the drum kit that are kind of capturing the whole right. thing. So there's about 10 mics on the drums getting different aspects of it so it sounds real dimensional. Right. Um, so it basically sounds like something real right in front of you. Um, you know, the bass guitar, which Andy played. Um, Various guitars. That's awesome. So and then, and then once that that was just like the band playing together, which is a right. way that I like to record. A lot of people like to do it uh, differently now, or people really like. Some people are real picky about doing each person individually. Sometimes they have to because of limitations of time, or you know maybe they're recording in their house or whatever. Mm -hmm. But here, this is a nice big studio with nice acoustics and a good lines of sight, everybody can be in the same room together and really make music. Yeah, so. Now these these are all the different components, each one of those? Yeah, so like, like in, actually this song's crazy because this song has like a ton of, of tracks and a lot of it is like, uh, that's Nick the drummer, that's his like air supply harmonies, <laughs> <laughs> right? <clears throat> So he did, he did those at home on his Pro Tools system, but there's like six tracks of him. Uh -huh. uh, there's a tambourine in here somewhere. <laughs> but anyway, when I started doing recordings, it was before the advent of Pro Tools, so sure. I learned on analog tape machines, and that's what we did actually. The drums and bass we recorded to that tape machine. And uh, yeah. so this, this, this studio is like a hybrid between sort of right. old school uh, analog technology where there's like 16 tracks uh, that go onto a piece of tape two inches wide. Mm -hmm. <coughs> now, this and, is what I would expect to see yeah. walking into a recording studio is this is what I know. But what do I, I mean? Yeah, well, it's a, it's, it's a much, you know, it's a, it's a classic way that people have made records in that technology, like electromechanical recording that evolved kind of steadily in a logical way over decades and it has a certain sound that's really great and a certain thing that happens because when tape is rolling and people are trying to make music together it's like that's a moment that you're trying to capture yeah and so there's a cool like energy that can be there and if you and you can capture it you know yeah. but if you just go straight to a computer and you know that you can just fix everything and chop it up and there's less and people I think are less prone to be in the moment yeah. of like actually doing something and it has the risk of not having a spark, you know. The drummer, the drummer comes in and sets up and then the bass player sits on the couch with his phone. Right. You know what I mean? So <laughs> that, I'm not a big fan of that. So, But anyway, Andy's record's not really like that. Andy's record's pretty, like, pretty for real. Awesome. Well, thanks, man. I mean, that was pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. I didn't, this is a learning experience for me. Thanks for inviting us in. Thanks for showing Thank me this. You. By the way, among others, government issue and job box <laughs> needs to be mentioned. Okay? All right, my man. Well, thanks, Joe. Thank you. Thanks so, thanks much. so much.